on Lee Chess and Twitch. I'm International Master William Pascal. We're taking five plus three blitz challenges against viewers here live on the stream. Welcome everyone. Just about to get started. Is my board? Just wondering if the board is is centered properly. Let's try to move it just a bit here. That looks better. Maybe even more. Maybe even more. Yes. He's a big space, but it's, it's more centered now. Hmm. All right. Bothers me if it's off center. We're obsessive compulsive. How's this look? It's actually centered. I guess for gameplay, this is best to be literally centered. Okay, guys and girls and people and dogs and animals. What's up, plants? Seriously, everybody, what's up? 11 a.m. here. Taking challenges. All right. Troll. Troll. Troll and Sumil Mitra. Troll is an ambulance subscriber badge. Nice. All right. Nine months subscriber for Troll. Miralis is here. Miralis. So all subscriber. Does that look? I love my USB ports. Now it even feels a little too far to the right, but maybe it's just my imagination. Plus the, I'm gonna move it back a tiny bit to the left before we get started. It's supposed to like not run into the donations ticker. That's better. All right. So, move one. VIP man. VIP. VIPs. PIVs. What's up? The Mexican defense. Anti London system. It isn't Weird Wednesday, but I'm just tired of playing the same things every game. Man, people have been handling the Stims a bit surely well. They don't even get like mildly phased when I play this. Times they are changing. Everybody plays D5. That's Stockfish number one move. I would never play D5 in that position. There is a certain principle to it. If you like overextending yourself. I think it's hard to play, even if the computer says it's the best move. It leaves you in a position that's very difficult to play, in fact. I don't agree with Sumamitra. I've talked about this a lot. Playing the opening mindlessly without using any time seems like the wrong idea. That's unbelievable. He just played B3. Who would do that? Some people will never learn. Yeah. 
If I told him like a hundred times or a thousand times not to play too fast, he'll just continue to do it for the rest of his life. No matter how many times I tell him. The important thing is moving fast and not thinking. He has a new excuse about his rating. He says that he's not playing rated games. That's why he's 1300. Whatever, I give up. Yeah, Twitch is pretty bad, man. I agree. My connection to Twitch is like always horrible. He's not just rolling his pawns without thinking, man. He's playing, he's actually playing really pretty dangerously. He constantly has threats here. I might even be lost now. Every time I play this player, I, I don't know, I, I, I'm at the, the end of my, my rope with believing if they're for real or not. Now he's taking time for the first time. Now that he has like a winning position. Some sort of tactics. No, I don't understand. My Twitch is terrible too, troll. I just assume it's because of my crappy computer. But it's the only website that doesn't load normally. I don't know, I don't have my computer turned on, GM Tranquilizer. I'm not using an engine, so I can't tell you the winning move for white. I'm only human. Yeah, this, this is extremely strong. G6. 
I'm almost getting mated. Is that difficult to see or? Which tactic? If I fired up my computer, maybe I could find a defense here. Let's see, queen f2. <sighs> queen f2. But please don't don't discuss exact moves while we're playing, unless it's it's me discussing them. Queen f2, queen h7 check, king h8. I'm almost made it against the supposed 1300. Pawn takes g6, queen g6, king h8 is perpetual. Pawn takes g6, queen g6, king f8. Queen f2, queen h7 check, king f8. If I take, he takes with check. I play king f8. Yeah, there were big threats with knight d5 earlier. Take, take, king f8. Oh my god. Ninety four instantly. What is that? Bishop takes b2, knight g5, bishop g7. What? Check this out. This is normal. Yeah, I'm just lost. All right, I don't know. I guess he's just trolling me. This is ridiculous. I'm just lost here. What is going on with this player? Like nothing is normal here. I'm completely lost to a 1300. Like six different ways. What is the deal? You're like trolling me?
All right, let's just play Morales. I will not be mocked. I have serious problems believing that account, their level of play. It comes back, it immediately plays a very strange game. You can't be 1300 and you can't make excuses about it anymore. You've got like different people playing on the account or something. I'm not gonna play games anymore. I'm not gonna play with trolls and I'm not gonna play with, with rude, insulting idiots. So troll is banned permanently. I'm gonna play Mr. Slow, Morales, Sadamasa. Um, these are new players, Ali, and I don't like being mocked. I don't understand. This isn't supposed to work after I play A6, I thought. I fell for this trap again? It happens every time. You didn't play A4. Alright. I don't understand. I was going to resign. Do you want to resign? Because <laughs> one of us is going to resign. Am I lost yet? Or are you lost? Yeah, we can restart. I'm lost? I'm not resigning. What do you mean? I'm lost here? Oh, this is winning. Why? Queen h5, bishop e6. I still can't believe this. The trap. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little distracted. Let me play another game first. No, I wasn't in Hulk mode. I mean, I, first of all, I've got the most dubious player on the stream for my first game, and then Troll's mocking me. So I have to kick him off the stream. I just started, I just got up, and these idiots are like messing with me. So I can't concentrate. Mr. Sohan owes me 10 bucks. What are you talking about? All right. Let's start over. I don't understand. I thought if I play a6, this doesn't work. But you've modified your move order somehow? You're supposed to play a4, but you're playing d3. And we transpose back. I didn't go into Hulk mode. I'm just pissed, man. I mean, I really have problems with that first account. And I don't need troll, like, mocking me. You know, it, it makes me angry. Why, why do you do that? You know, you try to be a streamer and play like every nine people cheat or something. I have to spend my afternoon figuring out who's really cheating and who's not, you know, it's, it's extremely annoying. Um, all right. Can you re-challenge me? Let's play again. Miralis. Let's start again. Do you really have to bust this on me?
the forced win variation. I didn't even know I was in the same position again. It's unbelievable that this is a win for white. It's so bizarre. There is no justification for that to be a winning position. It's the strangest thing ever. Black didn't really do anything wrong. I still, I still can't believe it. The boldler attack strikes again. Nice boldler. Nah, I'm so bored of playing this variation. I don't know why someone has challenged me to 1-0 chess. Are you kidding me? Don't call me sir. Makes me feel old. All right. I'm just going to stop playing openings that you prepared for. Like the Morales close Sicilian thing is extremely irritating. We've got to keep keep playing different stuff. I don't know what e5 is. Pawn sacrifice looks pretty strong, and dangerous. Astrobate notoriously missing again today. Wow, this is a nice pawn sack. Ambush me in the first game. I wasn't ready to play Morales. Morales is no longer allowed to play in the first two games while I'm not awake yet. Mr. Slow seems like he's... Actually, it's strange for Mr. Slow to be here on a Monday. He seems like he's pretty revved up, playing sharply with white. Nice pawn sacrifice with e5 and then castles. It's interesting. He's a fearful player, very fearful, intimidated by my, my titled status.
I don't get any respect. Nobody's afraid of me. Let's try d6, maybe? I could take, but it's giving up the white sword bishop is a pretty big concession. Bishop c6. I mean, bishop f3, queen f3, knight c6. White's just better. Otherwise, he's just rolling over me in the center for a mere pawn. Maybe I should just castle, but it's dangerous. All of his pieces are... This is in insane. GM Trekalizer, I didn't ban you, but I will if you want. I'm in the mood, so if you want to get banned, just let me know. I don't like you, you know, getting involved in, in discussions with that other player. I, I really don't trust them. I don't like that they're 1300 and they play like they're, they're 2000 every game. It starts to piss me off. It makes me look bad. It looks like I'm losing to 1300 players when I played them. I told them like a thousand times that it's it's not right. And you're like, oh, they had 300 cent upon loss. Yeah, because they're playing like blunders and then they're playing like extremely strong, fast series of strong moves too. It's a very touchy situation. I don't like getting involved discussing this on the stream. Just Just don't talk about it. I have a lot of problems with with this kind of stuff. So so please don't go there. With accounts that I can't trust. Yeah, so I'm going to play in the candidates. Are you going to play in the candidates? Did you qualify yet? Instant move. Dude, what is going on here? What? Are you guys all like a secret seat, like three or four friends or something? The Lee Chess. Check out Mr. Slowhand. He's in total berserker mode. He's eighteen hundred. I mean, it's it's almost as bad as the thirteen hundred, but but I can accept that. I can accept eighteen hundreds playing master strength sometimes. Mister Sloan notoriously underrated, but I mean, it's like I look bad, you know. Constantly, I'm playing people who are thirteen hundred, eighteen hundred, beating me. It's embarrassing. Mr. Sloyan's just going to crush me here. He's at least 2,000. Morales is bad like that, too. All you guys. You make me look bad. Oh, of course, Knight G5. Obviously. Let's just get this over with and lose it. Everyone's like sandbaggers on my stream. No, but I mean, I'm sad because you can't, you know, those who are watching don't know the dynamics between the different players on my stream. It's hypers. This player I've played over a hundred games with.
there's a lot of dynamics people that just hop on the stream don't know about. Yeah, do a keep keep us. Bishop f five. All right, dude, I'm going to have to silence you. That that guy is just annoying. Looks like Mr. So had a lot of Red Bulls or something. I don't know. The guy's super annoying. I'm sorry to ban somebody who's who's a subscriber to the stream, but his constant bantering is extremely annoying. I don't think that he means badly, but dude's gotta stop. Mr. Slohan is a psychopath. It's a miracle if I survived this. I had to have been lost. What what an insane effort. I was ready to resign. He's not a stockfish user, dude. He lost the game. He's a very big supporter of my stream, actually. So please don't like loosely accuse people. I do that, okay? I'll do the loose accusations of, 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 of cheating here. Um, but he made an awesome effort to win. He was winning, actually. Wow. So this was winning. King e7, he misstepped here. It's a subtle move. Queen g6 apparently is winning. He made the obvious move. Check. That's winning, too. So he was winning. He missed some quiet moves somewhere. Oh, just king e3? No. It wasn't that easy. Oh, yeah, this is insane. Rook e3, rook e5. I saw that. 
So G4 is a winning move? <sighs> crazy. Just crazy with the initiative. But this move came like very scary. This whole sequence, this whole opening was amazing by White. So this is all known. H6 is a blunder. The pawn sack is, is good looking. I made one mistake, H6. And I'm toast. I never played the Owen defense, so I'm just on instincts here. But I mean, I'm terrified of knight g5 attacking ideas, which is normal. So I thought I would stop it. Rook b3 is exclamation point. This was part of the plan. So now c4 rolling in the center, and I don't know what to do. Apparently I should have played d5. d6 gives him a chance to open it up. Or d5, d6. Yeah, this is brilliant. He did play some incredible moves. Rook b3, d5, and now e6. The mistake according to the computer, but it looked good to me. So I should have taken this apparently, wow. I could have held like with my king. Maybe I could have tried to survive with my king, king on d7. All right, Morales ready for your challenge now. Morales is not allowed to play white. Mr. Slow, yeah, I mean, you're a good player. You just refuted the Owen defense. <laughs> Practically. I'm sorry that I stole Morales' is white. Yeah, the slime is, is good for black. This is like black's best way of playing, probably. Morales is an, an expert in the openings that he plays. Usually with white more. What happened to the booty? You didn't play the Budapest? I was expecting it. Sorry guys, I'm in a sort of hangover from my simul from yesterday. Didn't sleep too well. I'm never in a good mood after I don't sleep. Monday mornings are, are really the worst. I wish you guys wouldn't play so well. Morales already beat me once. This is game two. I've already lost like three games today. I've had three lost positions in three games. And I haven't lost any of them. Morales offered me a draw, Mr. Slowhand lost, and the other game my opponent lost. I think I had this position once in a tournament game. The Leningrad Dimzo. It's a question whether it's better to play e4. It transposes to a, a kind of Petrosian King's Indian. I 
Actually, Mr. Sohan, you had a bunch of games with Astro Bay in the... I remember him showing me some Owen defense. Alright, B5. Is this appropriate to play the Banco here? Can you do that? Usually you just crushed Astrobait in lines like that, exactly like that. I never played E5 myself. Against the Owen. It's interesting. Maybe that really is a good way to play. Simple. Forcing. What would Magnus Carlsen do with black? Not play the Owen. Magnus has played the Owen, though, on occasion, but not not recently, I don't think. It's pretty bad. It's just a bad opening. Period. Okay, this is highly suspicious. Queen A5. Queen A5. I said he knows openings, but just the ones he plays. Morales is... He's experimenting here. Wait a minute. Knight E4. Is my bishop going to get trapped? That's definitely happened to me before. We have seen this. Knight E4, Knight E4. G5, Knight takes D6, Rook F8. Knight takes C8. Now I've got to play Bishop G3 at some point. And then F5. I can't believe it. This has to be good for me somehow. You have that move, and that controls, wait, you're just going to do that. Tilt. Morales is on, <laughs> he's on tilt from winning the first position against me. Just taking it easy on me. I told you, don't call me sir, it makes me feel old. Yeah, I lost to Carlson once, but it was a close game. All right, Sadamasa is next. No more Kings Indian guys, come on. We gotta play something else. You think e5 was inaccurate? Of course it was. You don't play the Benoni and the King's Indian in that line. You play the Benoni. I mean, Morales started out with like c5, and then he should do h6, g5, knight h5, grab my bishop and all that. Standard. But when you combine c5 and e5, Yuri Shulman, Grandmaster, did that against me. And he got a dubious position. Something similar to what Morales did. I ended up losing to Uri, But not because of the opening. I liked my game. Yeah, that mixing of e5 and c5 there by, by Morales is, is weird. So I don't know what to do.
I'm not a real e4 player. I just pretend to play e4. What's my idea? Bishop e6 right away. Okay. I was looking at this with someone else. Right. But... What is it about h5 that doesn't seem right here? Something about that. Normally they don't play h5 in this position. I know that it's a trendy idea in similar type positions, but I'm not playing f3, you know. I don't think you should play h5 unless I play f3. Not h5 against h3. It's playable, but it's not as good. That's like the knee-jerk reaction now. But think about it, like f3, g4, h4, g5, h5, it's totally different than, than doing, um, I looked at this exact position. This is bad for black. With one of my students, knight d2 is strong. Queen f3, queen d3. I think the computer said knight d2. But let's think for myself. This was Stockfish's move. I suggested queen d3, but the computer said it was just like slightly better for white. This is analysis from like a week ago. It's a bad position for black. h5 didn't really work out. Yeah, Jern, it's it's playable, but it's not accurate. If you look in the opening explorer, very few players ever play h5 in that position. It's different than f3. There's a very important subtle differences. You do h5 against the f3 ideas, but not against h3. Against h3, you wait for white to play g4, and then you play then you play h6, and you play a dark square blockade plan. If you check the top games in this variation, you'll find some interesting examples. Boris Gelfand, Grishuk, um, very strong players playing black in this particular line. Playable is one thing, but good is another. White has a slight advantage here. That isn't the case if he plays correctly. It just looks like a really good game for white now. Queen c6 is, is a bit weird, but all right. Maybe not so bad. This is kind of committal, I don't know, but it's a way to play. The one thing everybody has in common with me is that they play faster than I do which is very upsetting at some point. 
I've trained myself only to make good moves, not to play quickly. But everybody else has the opposite philosophy. They they just play fast and, and want to never get in time pressure. They would rather have a bad position than use time, which goes against everything that I've ever been taught. I've been taught never get a bad position, use your time. Pretty much everyone I play is the opposite. Doesn't matter if you get a bad position, just play fast. Seems to be the operating thesis. I disagree especially when it's increment. I have like never ending increments. You can't flag somebody who has increment. Chess culture is going to hell with the pandemic. Well, I, I think the pandemic is, an is is like making it faster is what's happening. The pandemic is essentially like speeding up what was already happening. Would be what I would say. So what if I take, let's take It was already headed in that direction to hell. Um, realistic. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. The pandemic's going to magically go away. You guys did hear that, didn't you? Let's see. That's a common. The nihilistic chess review. That's cool. Cool idea. So, wow. Wait. What am I thinking here? How can I not be better here? The ultimate knight? It's hypers. I hope that's not like hyper bullet. All right. Yeah, all right. I was worried that's what your name was about. Hyperbullet was created. That was created. What is it? Hyperbullet or Ultra Bullet? Hyperbullet? It was created as an April Fool's Day joke. King G1, or maybe G3. Always I'm in time pressure. Superstar chess player, you need more characters in your screen name. How about some more characters? <laughs> Maybe another 10 or so. It must be rough to type that in. All right, good knight versus bad bishop. It's just a draw. John Nunn. Sadamasa. <sighs> Forget about it. It's not clear. I said you have a lot of characters in your name. What's not, what can't you understand about that? That's kind of hard to misconstrue. You don't know what characters are.
sorry, we're, we use, um, I should be careful about the vocabulary here. All right, King G2. Another pawn on the dark square. What do I do about that? Hmm. Just leave it be. I mean, theoretically, b5 looks like a bad move, putting, um, weakening his pawns. Actually, a5, I mean, not b5. Puts that pawn on a vulnerable square. Now he's abandoning the c file, so he's like giving me ground. Take with a pawn. Whoa. He's not done yet. Hard for me to break through here. I don't know what to do. Regarding this, his position is okay until a5, I thought. Very hard for me to win this, and the engine is claiming a5 is the best move. Why do you have to play a5? I don't understand. Why is a5 a good move? Stockfish. If you don't play a5, is something bad going to happen? Why would you want to put your pawns on the wrong color, like another pawn on the wrong color of the bishop? That seems very strange to me. That's the new position. I'll put your pawns on the wrong color. Give up the open file. I thought he was holding on here, you know, probably. Maybe the problem is that he, well, he just could move his rook back and forth, right? Like rook g8, something like that. Rook g8, rook h8, rook g8, rook h8. I would just move back and forth in this position. Or maybe even trade all the rooks himself. He could play, he could play a, a double rook exchange. I don't know. But if you look in the opening, h5 gets a dubious it's got a dubious from the great stockfish for black here I agree it's been played by a couple reasonable players Anand actually lost with white in this position I don't think it's right though. We looked at this in detail with with a good student of mine. Yeah, F4 is the line. I know. This is critical, but it's probably better for white. I think you gotta play a better move than H5, man. That's your problem. Why why do you have to be worse when you can be equal instead? Don't play h5. Trust me. Um, Alright, any other subscribers that are challenging? Is Sparkle Horse 2004 a subscriber? Maybe we'll just take these challenges as we got them, because I don't know. All right. We'll just take these challenges in order. Tezek, however, showed up. He is a subscriber. Chess Iotis. I had a friend in high school who was Greek. He was an Iotis. Bishop f4. Yotis. And the good old, the good old London.
my favorite opening. Once nine six. You promise you're really from Taiwan? You're not one of those other guys. We had the same exact game with somebody. This is my own gambit that I invented. Sometimes people make like multiple accounts so they can play more than one game. So how did it go? Knight takes e5. I thought it was bishop takes e5. Wait, what's wrong with this picture? Something wrong with this picture. The other player played bishop takes e5. Bishop e4 check. I agree chess culture will collapse due to the pandemic. I mean, there will be no real chess anymore. <laughs> Mr. Sonny Grind gifted a tier one to Sparkle Horse 2004. If he was a subscriber, he is now. So knight h5. Knight e5 is nothing, right? Bishop e4 check. Bishop e4 check isn't a big deal. Well, I say no London is allowed in my simuls. It's a, it's a sort of joke, but I half mean it. Yeah, we're worried about Astrobate. Hope nothing happened to him. Bishop b4 check. What does he do? Let's just do it. I just play for development. I'm overthinking this. He didn't even think about it. It's just make the move instantly. He has like 92 there. Would you at least consider knight d2? Just for an instant? This is what I'm talking about with the chess culture. Uh-oh. Now queen c2. That could mean Castling queen side. What, knight d2 is a bad move? Well, he's up a pawn and he doesn't allow his pawns to be destroyed. I think it at least deserves consideration. At least a moment's thought. How do you know it's a bad move? unless you analyze it. You can't analyze it without thinking. We played once. Now that's weird. His name is once. Coincidence? The weird part is I'm confusing him with someone else. I thought it was a different player that I played before in a different opening. It was just another guy from Taiwan. Because I remember a game where I was black against somebody and I was thinking that was him, but this, this game I played with him previously, I was, I was white as well. Mr. Sohan, 100 bits for Astrobate. What's my plan here? Bishop c5? I don't know. We got to play for development. I don't like giving up my bishop. JCS, welcome. The booty. Morales would be happy with this.
It's just a classic Budapest Gambit. JCS. You won't see this Gambit anywhere else but here. Better than anything Eric Rosen ever came up with. In fact, it's almost sound, I think. Marginally sound, E5. Borderline. Borderline sound. It's not just clickbait. It's an opening that may actually be, be reasonable. So now the big question. Knight takes f2 was my original plan. Knight f2, king f2, queen f6. But he's got crazy moves there, like king g3. I'm not sure if, if that's sound for me to do that, but it's interesting. Kind of committal, though. I'm going to hold off. Just play principled moves. Pawn, schmon. It doesn't matter. Development is what matters. Knight f2 trades off an attacking piece. To what? To reach an endgame where I can grovel for a draw? Wow. Now that's pretty messed up. Bishop e3. Whoa, he's going to castle queen side? He can't. He's going to drop f2. Alright. He's paralyzed. Paralyzado. There's all sorts of crazy tactics around here. Antonio. Budapest Gambit versus the London. Home office. Home office nap. Wow, rook d1. The home office like Boris Johnson. Probably does a lot of that from the look of him. Picture of fitness. So seriously, what is this? This guy is good. Man. He's an 1800. 1600 in rapid. Okay. <laughs> Wow. He's 1600 going on like 23. Actually really good. Based on the speed factor. I screwed this up. It's just like crushing me. Whoa. H1 knight, I forgot to play. Wait, what? I I don't I don't like that guy. He's just really irritating.
but he's the same thing as Rosen. They're they're just like here for commercial reasons only. They just want to like create clickbait topics so they can trick people into subscribing. There's no real Dude, the guy recommends, are you serious? He recommends openings that lose by force. Is that good? He teaches little kids to play openings like the Stafford Gambit that lose by force. That's amazing. That's stupid, dude. I'm sorry. Let's, let's teach people to play something that loses by force so I can get viewers on, on YouTube or whatever. I just, I believe in, in being honest about the game. He's good at marketing. He's amazing at marketing. I'll give him that. What just happened? All right. So once like lost control. Wow. Basically, I, I dislike anyone that prioritizes monetizing the game whether they seem nice or not night 95 c4 e5 d takes e5 d takes e5 95 so the computer wants to play bishop takes e5 so that's what the other guy did see this this is This is slightly better according to the engine. I mean, the the knight the knight takes seems more natural. I agree. So this is like the first time I've played this. Check is right. Knight c three is better than knight d two. And then castles, and now knight d seven. I could have doubled his pawns. Oh, dude. The Gotham guy makes me sick, honestly. He's never done anything in chess, and he just, like, kisses Hikaru's butt. That's his claim to fame. But whatever, I'm not going to get into it. I mean, it's just... Of course I like Rosen better than him. But I don't really like what both of them do. Goes against my... my my principles all right sparkle horse you're next if you're asking me if i like eric rosen better than gotham as a person of course the guy is toxic rosen is not toxic but i don't you know like his approach to teaching chess yeah the guy's disgusting i mean he's primitive he's rude He's not even, you know, I don't even know where he got his I am title from, actually. I don't think he's ever played many tournaments, and he may have barely qualified, actually barely qualified. All a lot of stuff has happened since I've been outside the U.S., but I don't think that, like, Gotham Chess has ever won a tournament or beaten any strong players in tournament play. He just got his IM title so he could become a chess streamer or something. I don't understand. Has he ever, like, won a serious tournament? 
or played in anything real? Facing myself. Yeah, he plays my own system. Yeah, maybe I should just not play myself anymore. This is some sort of tribute account. He's even created his own, I mean, my own team. <laughs> Whose team is it anyway? Spark of Horse 2004. The first game was like 10 CPL. I managed to draw. Let's see how this turns out. I expect a very good game. Yeah, I don't like toxic streamers. I have nothing against Eric Rosen as a person. He seems like a nice guy. But I dislike the fact that he he misleads people into playing things that suck, you know. The London system, the Stafford Gambit. You're gonna make people like develop bad habits and, and then you're gonna have to like reteach them chess again. Knight c3. All right. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess, I guess it's just dead equal. Morales, thank you very generous. 200 bits for playing against myself. Thank you, Mr. Sloyan, for the donation so I could play myself with a subscriber of myself. Well, I mean, he may acknowledge that Morales, but you know, little kids who are like following his studies on Lee Chess really believe that the Stafford Gambit is is good. You know, they're like Eric Rosen recommended this. He needs to be a little more maybe open about how bad they really are. He's mostly teaching kids, you know. That's his his bag. As I said on the stream many times, I don't really teach kids because I hate their parents. But it's a big thing in the United States, teaching scholastic chess groups and schools and whatnot. That's probably what Eric Rosen did before he became a world famous chess streamer. No, I wouldn't play a match There's a lot of discussion about that. The word on the street is that he's no match for me in, in classical, but he's stronger in blitz. The sad part is I used to be probably stronger than, than that guy in blitz, but I'm way out of practice. I was extremely strong in blitz at one point. I think that at my peak, I was GM strength and blitz. Nowadays, it's gone downhill. I don't play bullet. I would probably lose to Gotham in a blitz match. Beat him in, in classical. But at one time, I think I was stronger than that. But I'm way, way out of practice. I don't play enough. What is White doing? He played B4. This is getting weird. Let's go for a strong knight.
You lose to me in Blitz? <laughs> I don't think I, I, I wasn't formerly like weaker in Blitz than I am in Classical. I was, I was always pretty good at Blitz. But, um, since I started teaching chess full time, ironically, I don't have any time to play Blitz, which has really happened in the last, like, few years. So my Blitz game has gone down the toilet. I'm slow. I'm used to playing slower games. All right, take some B4. D3 is an option, but what if I take on B4, he takes on B4, take on B4, try to win the exchange with Knight C2. I mean, I guess it's an option. He might go for something else here. Well, anyway, the Canada's tournament is on. A million people are going to be streaming that thing. And I don't do trendy streams. I don't see the point in streaming a tournament where there's like 17 other people streaming it. I used to do commentary for chess sites. And I like, and I like actually commentating um, serious tournaments, but there's just no point in doing that. But I'm interested in seeing what happens in the candidates tournament. It's nice to have a real chess tournament instead of the Magnus Carlsen whatever, you know. Magnus Carlsen's 12th perpetual online rapid tournament. Yeah, after rook b7, I would fight on here with white. But this pawn, I mean, I'm not just winning the exchange. I have a very strong passer. So I assume that white is winning. I mean, white is lost or whatever. White is probably lost. Sparkle Horse came apart there. Not a perfect game. On re re recall, Capablanca or Aliakin? I'm more partial to Aliakin. But I respect them both. You're the worst Blitz player, Blitz player there is in your chess club. You played a pretty good game against me today, man. That was scary. You can play like that. You can beat almost anybody. Full on initiative. But I think it's probably the same for you too, Mr. Slow. Maybe you just don't play enough. Blitz. I used to I learned chess playing blitz. I mean honestly. A combination of, of, of slow chess and blitz. I used to play massive amounts of blitz. Never played bullet. I don't see the need for that, and it just makes you play bad moves fast. I don't see the need to play faster than five minutes. And in five minutes you can play some quality games. It's sad though for our chess culture when they're reporting on the results of the, the weekly one minute, the Lee Chess one minute tournament. Magnus Carlsen was in first place, but then this Finnish IM was close. It's like, whatever, man. These are people just like hanging, hanging pieces in one minute chess. That's what chess has become. Seriously? Hopefully there's some strong players who don't, don't care about that still. White's giving up the dark square bishop here. Pretty serious concession. Now, do I want to take or not? If I don't take, 
I mean, it does open my bishop. I was considering he could take with the pawn as well. The next world champion would not be decided by rapid. Oh, yeah, good, good point of discussion. Well, I, I agree. Unsurprisingly. It's sad that Magnus Carlsen just, like, didn't even care about the regular games that much because he knew he would beat Caruana in rapid. So he just sort of cruised carefully through the, the classical games waiting for the rapid to start. I mean, that's sad, dude. It's sad. He's unbeatable in rapid speed. So he just sort of like waits for the, the classical chess to be drawn and then we can start to play rapid. Yeah, they should, they should do it like it has to be decided in classical. Make them play forever. If the prizes were enough, he would. I mean, I don't understand why why it's an issue. There should be enough money. There's a lot of money sponsoring sillier stuff. The World Chess, Chess Championship should, should be able to attract a lot of sponsorship. But it's more exciting if it's like random results, right? Not to me. Yeah, of course Fabiana has no chance in Rapid, but it's not the World Rapid Championship. It should be like just normal World Championship. Alright, white, white play is too fast. Imagine that. Yeah, I mean, if I was Fabiana, I would just... I wouldn't even like humiliate myself by... by continuing. You know, I would just resign. <laughs> resign at that point. When you got to the... just. Resign, I, I give up. I know he shouldn't do that. I'm just sort of kidding, but I don't know. Check. But he doesn't have a chance in rap, truthfully. You know, he has about as much chance in rapid as, as Anand had in winning in classical, which is exactly zero. It's true. All right, let's just take. Always take. Please. Yeah, Fabiano, MVL. Oh, it's made. Guys, take your time and try to play well. Wait, just play too fast. Tezek. Tezek is a subscriber. Nepomniachi against Magnus. I don't see why not. I mean, look at Karyakin. Karyakin put up incredible resistance. Is is Nepomniachi worse than Karyakin? What's with the closed Sicilian? Makes me sad. Karaka was inspired and he really tried. And that was impressive. I would love to see Magnus lose. To anybody. It would be good for chess. Shake it up a little bit. Might be good for Magnus too. Maybe he would he would work harder again. Seems like he's just cruising now. Worrying about taking over the chess business world. The Play Magnus. The Play Magnus app. Bishop b5.
But it's lost the tempo here with bishop c4, bishop b5. Interesting. So what if b5? b5, bishop takes. b5, bishop takes, queen a5. Bishop c4. Well, I imagine Magnus never had to tend to the business things when he was little or younger. But now he's like old enough that they probably started to put him in charge of his own business. But you know, you have to imagine like when he was younger, like his parents and his business managers were, were running everything. And that just doesn't change overnight. You concentrate on making millions of dollars being the world champion. Well, we'll take care of your business for you. Now he's like, An adult. I would imagine he would start to, to lose concentration on chess. It's also not not motivating like being world champion forever. You lose your motivation. What about B five now? Still doesn't work. Never works. How about queen a5, actually? Queen a5, just bishop b3. It's a bad move. Let's just be principled. I thought way too long on this, looking for some kind of tactic that's not there. I just would think it would be hard for Magnus. What does he have to, what does he have to, you know, look forward to? It gets boring being world champion and never losing. It would be hard to keep your motivation level high. Eventually Kasparov started to become like a political pundit instead of a chess player. If you think about it, Kasparov retired fairly early, handing over the world championship to, to Kramnik. He didn't really seem to care, I think. He was just bored of being world champion lost his motivation. So it's like, I don't know, I can't find any kind of tactics to bust you. Maybe I should play knight e2 there, actually. Yeah, it's boring being world champion. No, I'm just saying, if you compare his life now to the way it was when he was first world champion, there must be a very big difference. Those matches against Anand, though, Anand just didn't seem to care. Queen h4 is dangerous. Not that he didn't care, but he, I've said this before, he, he didn't try because he didn't believe he could really win. Speaking of not being motivated, you can't win if you don't believe you can win. That's for sure, like 100%. Whatever it is, I'm certain that Anand did not believe he could beat Magnus. Maybe if he had, you know, I think Karyakin believed he could. If you look, If you look at the difference, between Karyakin's performance against against Carlson and Anand's, you know, Anand, who's arguably stronger than Karyakin, didn't put up nearly as much resistance as Karyakin did. That's the power of believing in yourself, I think. And and Caruana as well believes in himself, at least in classical. Then it's like get to the rapid part 
And Karyakin is, I mean, Caruana's lost too. The downhill of chess? <laughs> I don't know if it's that bad. Tezik played a good game here. To some degree. I don't like that F5 thing, man. He's got some dangerous threats. This F5, if I had stopped him with F5, I would be fine now. I just hope there's a good World Championship match. I don't want a non. <laughs> I was so happy that a non wouldn't be in the candidates match, a candidates tournament. That's like, I, I can't even watch it. I couldn't watch it again. The second time, I didn't look at a single game. I think the first, the first Carl, um, Carlson Anon match, I actually watched a couple of games. Second time, I couldn't even bring myself to look at a single game. With Karyakin, it was interesting. With Karawana, it was very interesting. Hopefully, the next winner will be relevant. So this is a strange decision. He played G takes H. You're going to play for mate on G6? He's got the knight F4? The knight F4 mate? It's like something similar happened to me yesterday in my simul. Mate in one. Yeah, I try to mislead people. We're getting out of that, that mate threat, and we're just up a pawn in an endgame. So who do you guys think is going to win the FIDE Candidates Tournament? Sadly, Ding the Ren is too much behind to have a chance. He was he was essentially the one of the top threats. At this point he can only be a spoiler. I wouldn't mind seeing Caruana again. Caruana, maybe Napomniachi or Vasher Lagraf. I don't even remember. He's been quiet all year. Well, honestly, remember that Fabiano is not a blitz rapid guy, and, and all these online tournaments by Magnus and stuff have been focusing on that, and the pandemic is bad for a classical player like, like Caruana. So he might actually be at a serious disadvantage having not played much we might see him very rusty I would you know if I were them I would I would have hired other strong players and played tons of training games in the off time that's what Caruana should have been doing I don't know if he was besides opening prep he could hire some top grandmaster or grandmasters of course other top players to, to play like training matches with him and stuff. I mean, that's what he should have been doing. I don't know. Since he wasn't playing in the Magnus Invitationals. Definitely. Yeah, he has the potential to beat. Beat Magnus app. Man, this is annoying. How do I make progress here? driving me crazy and if I move my rook away if I move my knight away the knight comes in d5 maybe I should just play g5 it's just like I haven't been playing it because it looks ugly but it kills him bias biased against ugly moves I guess Anand is enjoying his his money 
He collected a lot of prize money from those those two world championships, I guess, against Magnus. He still plays. He can win any tournament on a given day. Not a bad deal. Um, Alright. I gotta go soon, guys. We got time for, like, three more games. Morales, you're re-challenging? Why is Morales re-challenging? Glazing Buns. It's a great name. But I'm playing 5 plus 3. I gotta cancel that. Magnus will commentate the candidates. Oh, really? Like for um, for his chess 24 or something? Or just for working for a world chess? Wonder how much Magnus gets paid. He probably gets paid more to... He probably gets paid like Rudy Giuliani style hourly fees for, for commentating. How much... How much does Magnus get paid for... For commentating? Good question. Yeah, maybe maybe it's not by the hour. Frozen Mun. Actually, from Zemon. Chess 24. All right. Well, then he owns the company anyway. So I wasn't sure if you meant he was he was like commentating for the the mysterious World Chess organization h6 really weakens that the white squares and black's position never ever had anyone play that against me and the few times that i've played this one would only assume that the g6 square could be a weakness how serious though not so easy to take advantage of Well, all right. Taking out the dark square bishop. Well, I don't know. I mean, what the what the deal is with with the world championship candidates tournament? World Chess tried to sue pretty much everybody in the last years over trying to broadcast their tournaments. Maybe they'll have something worked out where they let other, you know, you can't, you can't um, copyright chess games, but they still try to, to block other sites from broadcasting it if they could. But I'm sure that every site will have it. Just 24. What about like the World Chess organization itself? Are they broadcasting it of themselves? Selling tickets? Live tickets? Oh, they're official broadcaster. Okay. Oh, for the World Championship itself. Okay, okay. But what about the candidates? So they're the official broadcaster. Maybe the World Chess Shadow Organization made some kind of deal with with G's.com. They used to like try to do stuff on their own, but now I don't know what's up with the whole thing. The whole thing is is frightening too. Like, what is World Chess? Is that part of FIDE? Is it a shadow organization run by oligarchs? Like, what exactly is that? This this shadow organization that runs the candidates. And and, and what is it exactly? I, I don't quite understand. Very dubious. The whole. FIDE is dubious, but the whole world chess thing is, is dubious too. Super dubious. I didn't want to think about it.
It's like a private entity outside of FIDE, or what, what exactly is it? Legal status, unclear. Everyone just like takes it for granted. The super smart chess player. This is a Monday and Wednesdays I take subscriber challenges first. So pretty much everybody I've played so far has been a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, you just have to wait till the subscribers play. At this point, you would be like second from the top. You guys probably can't see the, the challenges there. Sometimes you can see them on the stream. If I, if I highlight that, can you guys see that? Just off the side. You can see it just off your just off your port bow. The smart chess player would be two from the bot two from the top. But I don't know at this point. I have to leave in about twenty minutes. Twenty five minutes to be exact. So we might make it. E five. This, I've been trying to make use of this g6 square, but nothing clear yet. Knight takes f6, check queen f6. He holds the e5 point. So now all I can do is induce some kind of pawn structure weakness. I have a slight, slight edge. The official broadcaster for the world champ. What does that mean? Here we go into the legal gray area again. That should be interesting. They'll be suing other chess sites for broadcasting the world championship. All right. He, he is an aggressive player doesn't want to trade queens, although objectively trading queens might be the right move for black there. I probably would lean toward that because your your king is not as safe here. With less safe king, you should trade queens. Basic rule. Of course, it doesn't apply every single every single situation. Okay, queen e4, queen f4 check. The world chess, world chess com, official FIDE gaming platform. That's weird, huh? I thought like they had the FIDE Arena or whatever. Now it's a gaming platform? It's all so sketchy. Man, I wonder if I wonder if you're like getting paid by World Chess. Are we starting to talk about like Russian sanctions now? Maybe World Chess will be sanctioned by the U.S. government or be owned by someone who is like sanctioned by the U.S. government. Who knows who the owners of that are? It's kind of scary. They actually have, have tournaments. Yeah, good luck with that. Forget about that. FIDE Arena take two. They can pretty much forget it. I mean, and they're farming out broadcasting to to cheese.com. Yet they're trying to run like tournaments on their own site. It's basically like a, 
a sort of sad second fide arena or something. That's never going to happen. Rook, rook e1, king f7, f4. He's done a good job holding on here. Probably it's a draw with perfect defense. Magnus would win with white and draw with black. Pretty standard. Magnus. <laughs> Magnus result. One and a half out of two. Um, from this position. Maybe Magnus would win with black. That's that's asking a lot with the bad structure. Um, but again, like. Don't trust Fide. But as I said on many streams, I guess all all world sporting organizations are corrupt. Chess is no different than any other sport. But it's kind of scary, nevertheless. All right, what am I doing? Rook d3, trading a set of rooks? King e1. Yeah, FIFA is the leader in corruption. Definitely. What about this new thing that they're going to start a European sort of Premier League? I don't know that much about football, but I thought it was kind of funny that after Brexit, there's going to be a European top 12 football league and six of the teams will be not from Europe. Since Britain, you know, England has left Europe. It's kind of ironic, isn't it? All right. You'll have a European football league where six of the teams aren't in Europe. Makes a lot of sense. In case you don't know, I'm anti-Brexit. And any kind of nationalistic politics. Yeah, draw. All right, draw. It's pretty equal. I'm point 0.1 better. Stockfish is calling it point 0.3. Apparently I missed the win. Weird. He dropped a rook. Oh my god. I just believed him. He traded rooks with rook d4. He dropped a rook. That's not necessary. Anyway, it's a slightly worse ending. That that should be a draw. Alright guys, I got time for maximum two more games. We're not missing any subscriber challenges. I gotta go a little bit, 20 minutes. Yeah, six teams, the six big, big teams from Premier League. But it's just funny to me, <laughs> they're calling it a European Football League. You can't leave the European Union and then call yourself part of Europe. Have it both ways. England is still Europe technically, so is Russia. The good old H4. Western Russia is part of Europe technically. They'll probably be increasing their their territory soon as well. Okay, so now white is playing very quickly. This is a weird position. 
I would think knight e5, bishop e5 is a problem. But maybe it just doesn't work. Yeah, I'd have to play f6. I don't like f6 here. Let's let's can that. But that's true, no problem at all. Geographically speaking. Oh, candidates. Uh huh. It's starting. Don't want to run up against that. You failed to understand why your country, oh, is a member of European sports organizations? Well, I mean, you know, Turkey. Turkey is. Is on the border, I guess geographically. Not not, technically part of Europe, right? But there's a lot of countries, not just Turkey. The Israel plays in the European. European Chess Championship. Russia. Although Russia. Technically part of the European continent. We're starting to talk like geography. Turkey is not part of the European continent. Is it? I'm not a geographer. Right, I mean, Turkey wanted to join the EU. I don't know about now, but... At some point. One part of Turkey is part of Europe. So that's not that mysterious. But I'm just so sick of nationalistic stuff everywhere. We live in the same world. It's just ridiculous. I don't care, here in Hungary, the United States, England, there's so much nationalistic politics that's just so wrong. Yeah, I just hate it. I hate it in my own home country. I hate it here in my adopted country. So Magnus is streaming around 8 on Chess24. Guys, I'm leaving, so you can enjoy Magnus. <laughs> Let's raid Magnus. The weirdest thing happened yesterday. I tried to raid King Crusher and he disallowed my raid. Maybe, maybe he just doesn't accept raids at all. I don't know. He had raided me before. And so I thought I'd return the favor, but we got denied. I usually just raid the streamers that are personal friends of mine. I don't just raid like random people. Is Tranquilizer streaming? Oh, he is, of course. I would raid Tranquilizer. He hasn't been on much lately, though. Of course. No, I mean, that's my choice. But Levante hasn't been on in a while. I don't know what's been going on with him. I mean, it's possible OTB chess comes back to some degree in different countries. You know, maybe in Romania they start to play chess. The rollout in vaccine in Romania is better. The situation is better in Romania than here. Um, they manage the pandemic better. Oh, probably he's covering the candidates too. Yeah, good point. No problem at all. I might have to like go to Romania to get to get vaccinated. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't get a vaccine because I don't have a national health number. Now I have to apply for that, but it's very vague and 
I don't know how long it's going to take me to get a vaccine. I might have to go to like a neighboring country to get vaccinated for COVID. I don't want to fly home to the United States, get COVID on the plane, like an 11 hour plane trip or something. That would be sort of stupid. If I was a Hungarian citizen, I would have gotten my, you know, get close. I would be close to getting my vaccine by now, but as a resident without national health coverage, I have to sign up and it's not clear how long it's going to take me. I've had several chess organizers want me to play in tournaments. I'm like, I can't play because I don't have a vaccine. The MC doesn't help. U.S. Embassy, U.S. U.S. Um, diplomatic policy is is um, basically you're on your own. Yeah, I have to make a taste song, or possibly go to Serbia, Romania, or something. If I can't resolve it here, I didn't have a SOM because I always went to like private doctors and stuff. It wasn't forced. But I never imagined there would be like a global pandemic, obviously. So. But I can't do anything till I can get vaccinated. I can't play in tournaments. We have a sacrifice on f3 here, which is interesting. If he tries to win the exchange of queens, like queen c1, knight f3 check. Yeah, he shouldn't give me the two bishops though. The US Embassy just doesn't take responsibility for getting people vaccinated. The US Embassy in Hungary is basically not the not the greatest probably the one in like Austria is a lot better I thought about calling them but Austria doesn't have an ideal vaccination either <laughs> I don't mind man Trump is, Trump is gone. I'm hoping he runs again so I can cash in on his next losing election bid. We'll see what happens. So C5. The problem it all lives here in Hungary. One of my fellow Hungarians If in emergency I can fly back to the US to get a vaccine. I don't even have a residence in the US anymore. But technically, that shouldn't matter. A lot of states have are starting to do vaccinations for out of state even. But I really don't wanna to have to travel to the US all the way to the US just to get vaccinated for COVID. It's kind of crazy. I've seen some stories about people doing this. Expatriates who went who went home just for that purpose. <laughs> All right. Let's trade it down to the king and pawning game. Well, flights aren't as expensive as they used to. 
as they used to be. Flights flights have gone down in price. That's the good news. Air travel is is really gone down for obvious reasons. What am I gonna do here? This is kind of tricky. Maybe A4. It's like insanely lower price for flights now. Yeah, I have one of my students is in, in that area too. Remain confident. DC, Maryland. Running out of moves. Guys, I have time for one last game. Tukame mucho. All right. He's gonna go for the A pawn, but we're faster. This pawn is going through. You can't stop it. It's like MC Hammer. All right, last game. Smart chess player. We played once before, I forgot about that. But if you can do air travel, it's a good time. <laughs> if you wanna save money. Not as many flights, though. Airport is open here. I doubt we have direct flights from Hungary to US, but I could find something. Thanks. Remain confident. Well, I'm a foreign resident now. My last legal resident legal residence in the US was in southeastern Massachusetts. But I have I haven't been living over there since the end of twenty nineteen. Right. But I guess that counts as your last, the last place where you lived. I don't even know who the congressperson is. Last game, guys. Enjoy the World Championship Candidates Tournament. We'll be back tomorrow. Actually, I have to start a tournament of my own. Um, tomorrow night, Blitz Tournament hosting here on Lee Chess. Hate playing Bishop Takes B3. Gotta be careful. <laughs> Get mated if you play the wrong move around here. All right. Knight d5. Tomorrow night blitz tournament. Six, 6.30 to 6.45 start. All right. I could play f5 and win a piece. Pieces, parts.
He's sacrificing by necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention, isn't that? Isn't that the, the saying? Sack the exchange back with Rook takes F3. Definitely possible. The London, <laughs> London system arena. I've been lamenting Eric Rosen's love for the London system. Oh, Elizabeth Warren, yeah. I'm gonna get me a beer. But I like Liz. Senator Markey is the other senator from Massachusetts. Um, Yeah, I, I'm I'm a hater of the London. Where is that queen going? Has serious loss of coverage. No, nowhere to go. Fortunately. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Got to got to teach chess. Thanks for watching. Right. Liz Warren, Ed Markey. Mate, this is like a tactics puzzle. I've been practicing my two move mates anonymously. Raid, we've gotta do a raid. Thanks for the game. All right, we are gonna raid the Tranquilizer. My friend, Grandmaster Vida Levente. GM Tranquilizer, please stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. Thanks, everybody. Stay tuned. Do not leave. You're not allowed to leave. We're raiding the Grandmaster. GM underscore. And then the very strangely spelled Tranquilizer. Trank. It looks like NyQuil. I can never spell his screen name. It's a disaster. I probably got it wrong again. Tranquilizer. Coming to you live from Bucharest, Romania. Let's see if this works. Later, guys.